Hey guys, I'm going to talk about some news that just came out about Facebook and Mixer partnering together. So Microsoft is actually making a deal with Facebook to make it where Facebook will be their default streaming service. And then that'll be for gamers and they'll get rid of Mixer. So if you look at CNBC's article that just came out like a couple hours before I started this video, they are basically saying that Microsoft and Facebook made a deal where Facebook gaming would get pretty much all of the traffic and stuff from Mixer. So they would convert to uh, sending all the people on, say, Xbox, for instance, which own, which is owned by Microsoft, to Facebook gaming instead of trying to build up Mixer, which was supposed to be the big competitor to Twitch. If you read towards the bottom of this article here, You'll notice that it says that through July 22nd, Mixer will still be up. But after that, it'll redirect everybody to Facebook. So if you have, say, an Xbox, for instance, and you're trying to stream, it may start sending you to Facebook after July 22nd, 2020, instead of you streaming on Mixer. So Mixer and Twitch were actually very similar in their payout structure. So you might be wondering what this is going to pay if you are a Facebook streamer so if you look at twitch you can basically you can basically break down the income into a few parts and it's very similar on the mixer side so i'll just kind of break down twitch and then you can just assume that it was very similar with mixer so with twitch you had subscriptions for one thing twitch takes 50 percent of all subscriptions except from the top tier so top tier is like shroud you know tfu Ninja, people like that. $4.99 to subscribe. $2.50 goes to the streamer, the average streamer. $3.50 of that would instead go to top streamers if you were a top level streamer. So like Ninja had about 250,000 subscribers and he was making $875,000 a month or so from that. So that was before Mixer, of course. And then he made a big 20 to $30 million deal with Mixer to go exclusively with them. So with Twitch, if you're thinking about going back to Twitch or if you're wondering kind of how it pays, you would, if you had 100,000 subscribers or so, $400,000 to $450,000 per month is what you would make. And that's before all the other ways that you can make money. Now, this is a little bit different for Amazon Prime members, which is seems like is everybody these days. But uh, they get one free subscription subscription per month to Twitch streamers. And then, uh, but the streamers still get paid for that subscription, even though that Prime member is not necessarily paying a separate subscription for that. So another way you made money from Mixer and Twitch is through ads. So ad revenue on Twitch is like $0.25 cents to $1.50 per thousand views, also known as CPM. And you can customize ads similar to YouTube. So it's going to be fairly similar on YouTube as well if you want to stream on YouTube, but some people, I'll get to this in a minute, but some people say that they can actually make two to three times that as far as ad revenue on Facebook gaming than they did on YouTube. Another thing is sponsorships. So with Twitch and Mixer, you had these different sponsorships. With Twitch, it was one cent to a dollar per viewer per hour, and that is, and the top people get 10,000 plus viewers or so per hour. So sponsorships, again, are going to be a lot of like certain games and their uh, marketing team and stuff are paying a particular streamer maybe to um, play a particular game in hopes of getting a lot of people to try the game after watching their favorite streamer play it. And then you also have donations. So it's not good to depend on, but this is just like extra money people will donate to you. And uh, you can even think of, say, like YouTube Live where they have the little thing where you can do like super chat and stuff. You can pay a little bit of money to get your question pushed to the top or you have these stickers and things like that that can pop up in chat. But donations, you can also just kind of donate to your favorite streamers to hopefully keep them going. Then, of course, you can do merch, private deals, and you can also do affiliate revenue on Twitch. You could actually uh, get paid a little bit of money for when people bought the game after watching your stream. So that would be affiliate links. So with Facebook, you can make money a few different ways. Facebook gaming is a little bit different than what you might be used to with Twitch and Mixer, which I just kind of broke down to you. Facebook actually uh, has like a trial period of like 14 days where you kind of prove yourself as a streamer and then they kind of decide to bring you on if you do a fairly good job within that 
period. So if you like bring people on the platform, you, you have like a hundred subscribers or so, then they will start letting you monetize directly by live streaming your gaming on Facebook. But it can take a little bit to get completely approved for that. So a lot of people will also make money from Facebook gaming by using, say, Patreon, which people can become like a subscriber to you and uh, you give them exclusive content. Or you can do, say, affiliate marketing with something like Amazon where you get people to, you know, buy the game after watching you or you show them like your gaming setup, you know, the type of tools and stuff that you use for your gaming setup and they can buy that and then uh, get it through your affiliate link and you get a commission from it. So back with Facebook, um, when you get to the level up program is what they call it then if you are accepted, you can get like one cent US dollars per star, which is like a little sticker people do on like live chats and stuff. And then you are eligible for this and people can also become a paid subscriber. If you check out the article that Business Insider did recently on Facebook gaming, you they talk about here how you can become a paid subscriber of that streamer for $4.99 a month. So they have kind of the little donations, kind of the YouTube live chat type of deal where you can get paid for that. Uh, 100 stars for $1, people pay for those if you get accepted into Facebook gaming and then you also have paid subscribers. But there's another way you can make money as well and that's if you have pre-recorded videos that you publish on Facebook which can also be watched on Facebook Watch. That is their uh, competitor to YouTube. So you make money off of ad revenue from recorded videos, which can be compilations of your gaming clips, or they can be uh, maybe you just answering common questions from your subscribers, or just talking about a certain game, reviewing it, whatever. Pretty much anything you would find on YouTube that gamers put out there, you could do the same thing on Facebook, and some of them have reported to making two to three times more money on ad revenue through Facebook publishing than through YouTube. So, for instance, if you read more in that Business Insider article, Zach James, one of the streamers on YouTube or on Facebook called Yo Mama, has almost 4 million followers and his uh, Facebook game stream has more than 3.5 million followers. But if you scroll down a little bit, he talks about in a quote that uh, he makes about two to three times the ad revenue on a three-minute Facebook video than he does on a 10-minute YouTube video as a streamer as a gamer so another thing you can do is go to facebook go to your facebook page like so go to publishing tools up there at the top and then you can go over to tools on the left side where it says creator studio and once you have 10,000 likes on your facebook page you can start monetizing your videos that you upload directly to facebook by going to monetization there on the left side of their uh, creator studio. So then you have in-stream ads, branded content, payout settings, and other things on here. And so you can have these different ads within your video like you do on YouTube monetization. You have brand collaborations. You can manage that here. And then you can have fan subscriptions as well, which is separate from the subscriptions that you could get from the Facebook gaming uh, level up program. So in other words, you can actually make money from gaming right now on Facebook. You can do the uh, pre-recorded videos that you would normally publish on say YouTube, or you could do them on both. And then you can actually start trying to build your audience on a Facebook page, kind of get in on the ground floor of Facebook gaming, although it has been around for a little bit, you can kind of get in on the uh, new wave of Mixer users that are going to be converting over to Facebook gaming, at least those of the ones that aren't going back to Twitch. And you can start trying to build up that audience and then apply to be in the Level Up program. So if you go to facebook.com slash FB Gaming Home, that's where you can apply for their Level Up program, and that's how you can start getting paid directly through Facebook while live streaming instead of just having to rely on the uh, pre recorded videos and stuff like that, or having to go off site to Patreon or Amazon affiliates or something like that. And of course, this is all if you don't want to just go back to Twitch. So ultimately, there's a few other things to note here with this big change and this big merger that's going on here. One thing is that they made it easy for Mixer gamers to get onto Facebook gaming and to start uh, converting their audience there. 
You can go to facebook.com slash gaming slash mixer, and you can actually connect your mixer account directly here under the mixer Facebook gaming uh, spot right there on the left side. Another thing about this is the, the merge between Facebook and mixer makes it where gaming and regular news feeds and regular content that's going on with your friends and stuff it'll all be in the same kind of spot so you can actually go from scrolling through your news feed and seeing you know what's going on in your friends lives and then you can see some gaming content pop up you can click on that and then if you have say the uh the xbox subscription for their for their xbox game pass then you can actually just go and try out the game right away after watching a streamer you can go back you can you can watch streamers without having the intent of necessarily going to a gaming website to watch streamers so a lot of people who aren't even gamers will watch you play video games so if you actually look at darkness 429 look him up on facebook this is one of the people that's done really well on this platform by attracting people who aren't necessarily all gamers but also attracting his fans that are gamers so because he's on facebook he attracts a lot uh, a much bigger and wider range of people. So I recommend you read the Business Insider article on this merger and it'll talk more about that, how many followers they have and how they're, recru they're recruiting people that um, are in their mid 20s or early 30s that have a lot of disposable income and might not necessarily care to go on Twitch or Mixer specifically or to even have a gaming console, but might want to watch because they find the content entertaining, or it might even convert them to try gaming. So Facebook kind of bores a lot of lines there and makes it more of an all-in-one solution of entertainment instead of you know just game streaming only on one website. And the last thing to note here is there might be an app coming out soon for Facebook gaming. Right now it's being tested in three markets. You have the Philippines, Brazil, and Mexico but it could be coming out to where you can just watch streamers more specifically instead of having to go through and you know manage all the different aspects of your uh, Facebook profile while also adding gaming onto there as well. So you might be able to see a lot of new things coming for gamers in the future, another way for you to make money online, and uh, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.